Hey everyone, welcome back to Disney Sorcerer right now. So it's about 1.30 in the middle in the morning. I can't sleep. One of my children is uh, fussing. And uh, my brain is on overdrive for some reason. But I wanted to take you through. Um, to just give you some idea if you're just if you're early in the game. If you're uh, wherever you are. Just what's going to take you to get t to our, uh, who I'm going to call our first super legendary. And I don't know if that's a thing, but I feel like Evo Queen is our first super legendary. I feel like once we, once everybody gets to where they need to be figuring out about Evo Queen, um, I think you're going to, I think Evo Queen is going to be the first, it's going to be the tomb that you're going to need to, uh, you're going to be able to basically solo for, or if not solo, come very close to soloing um, the Forbidden Depths and the Siege of Olympus and whatever else. Maybe not, maybe not soon, but uh, probably by the, by the end of this year or, or you're going to hear some chatter about Evil Queen being able to solo some pretty heavy duty stuff but to get her you know obviously i still recommend going for the 10 essential tunes because i think that you will they will help you greatly get to this point um and we could talk about who you need to farm to help you get the most out of them in another in another video if you want to but let's talk about what you need to get the Huntsman. Because you need the Huntsman before you can get Evil Queen. Uh, because you can't, you know, you can't even sit, sit foot. <laughs> so you have to go through the Huntsman to get the Evil Queen. So who do you need for Evil Queen? Or for the Huntsman? I'm glad you asked. As close as I can figure. It's going to require you to have 15 tunes. 15 characters. Now I know the requirement for the for the thing is only um, 5 tunes, but bear with me. So, the Caterpillar is, is you need him on every level of the Huntsman thing. Every level. So Huntsman is is non-negotiable. He's 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 easy to farm in there. You need Tigger. Tigger's not yet farmable. I'm not saying he won't be. But he's just not yet. To need to get Tigger, you need Eeyore. So you need to or Eeyore is farmable. And you need forest creatures. And there happen to be two that you need to get from Maleficent, and it is Sheriff of Nottingham and Robin Hood. So obviously, I recommend those two. The others, the other, you're going to have Eeyore on the team. So that's one, two, three. Then there's Finn. You can bring Finn with you. Obviously, he's really good offensively. Um, and there's more to Mordu can be extremely good. I've struggled with him in the past, but Mordu is good. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say, um, and we can go through where to where to pick these up real quick, um, just in case you are wondering. I'll just run through where you can get Chef Nottingham at. For those of you wondering, you can you could stop and pause. Chef Nottingham very early in the Grand Campaign, three J, which is very early. In 5C in the hero campaign. Those are the only two places in the game that he's available. 5C in the, in the hero campaign. And 3J in the grand campaign. Moving on to the next person. Caterpillar. Talked about him already. He's very, very simple. He's in 1B of the Alice in Wonderland campaign. He uses grand campaign energy. Or 1G of the Alice Wonderland campaign. And that's going to be with campaign energy. 
hero or um, villain type energy. Grumpy, we've not got yet to, not got to yet. But Sven, Sven is in the Grand Campaign. The only place you can get him right here. I mean, you can get him for a bit next exchange if you're really desperate. But he's in three C of the Grand Campaign. Next we have Robin Hood. Robin Hood is in. 6G of the Grand Campaign, so very late in the game, much later in the game. And 8B in the Hero Campaign. And keep in mind, if you do go for Melissa, you're obviously going to have both the Sheriff of Nottingham and Robin Hood. At a fairly high level. Eeyore is at 4B of the Grand Campaign and then 6B of the Villain Campaign. And then I just want to make sure that they didn't sneak Tigger and then make, make him farmable because I'm going to make no, he's still not farmable, but he is every, everywhere else. We talked about Eeyore and then Mordu. Mordu is on, he's in the human exchange, he's in the tournament exchange, which you can do. Um, I would probably wait until you get some other characters first. But the only other place he is, is he's in 8, he's in 6B of the hero campaign. It's the only other place. So that so, so and that's just what you need to get to, to, to Tigger, and that that's just what you need to get to Tigger. You need Eeyore, and then you need four other four creatures. Now that can be. Now my recommendation for you would be. Obviously these four right here. Because they're the only four: Sheriff of Nottingham, Sven, um, Robin Hood, Mordu. Are the only four. They're the only four that you could take with them. If you don't believe me, we can go back to the forest and just check, but I'm confident that I'm right on that. Because they because you needed four to be able to farm him. And so the only the only other member of the faction is Winnie the Pooh. But then, in addition to, so that's two, so that's, so that's Tigger and, and, uh, Caterpillar. The rest is all the dwarves, all the dwarves in Snow White. You need all the dwarves. I've talked previously about how the dwarves are not a great team. They're still not a great team. But if you want Huntsman and you want the Evil Queen, you have to do the dwarves. What are the dwarves? The dwarves are very easy. The, the dwarves are very easy. And the dwarves get you. There is no campaign for Snow White, obviously, but there is a campaign for the dwarves. And it's it's your discretion about, you know when you you know do you want to do the force creatures first do you want to do the doors first the doors are the more painful part especially gearing them but they're right here you know you can get you can get sneezy grumpy and happy with and you can get bashful with Grand Campaign Energy. These first four take Grand Campaign Energy. As you can see, you need to be a level 30 to get the last one. And then they get, and then the rest of the doors from Sleepy, Sleepy, Dopey, Doc onward, you need to be slightly higher level and you need 
to use regular campaign energy. And they're all here. They're all here. The stock node, you need to level 60, but you can take out the others at weaker points, obviously, but they're all right here. And then all you do is you, you know, I, I say all you have to do, but it's like, you know, what you have to do after you get them is you need them, them all, you need all seven of them to get the Snow White. And then once you have Snow White, you have to, you have to, of course, do the campaign for her, uh, the infant for her, you have to gear her. So you have to, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to tell you that you need to, you definitely need the dwarves, all seven of the dwarves at gear eight. You know, just to get Snow White and then they're not, you know, you take, you take your favorite two and you put them in or two or two or three and you do the Huntsman event with them. My recommendation for that would be Doc, um, Grumpy and which are their other, which are their other random dwarf, but I'm going to say Doc and Grumpy are the ones you're going to want to invest in, especially Doc because he's a summoner chosen. And he's got the leadership. Um, but, you know, and then for the Tigger event, the Tigger event is not, is not anything to be taken lightly. You're going to want all of your four creatures. You're going to want your five forest creatures to be either gear nine or at least 8.5 to get to you through the campaign in order to get Tigger because that campaign is not a joke at all and it can be very tough but once you get Tigger then of course you have to gear him you have to have him at seven stars and you have to gear him to tier eight or nine um and then and that's all that's but you know it's only 15 tunes that you need for this Huntsman event. Now, obviously, you could stop what you're doing right now and go for Evil Queen, and that could be very beneficial to you. That's totally up to you. I'm still stuck. My, I'm still stick my my recommendation to go for the ten essential tunes that you need, and those ten essential tunes will um, also being one. You will have you will have a geared up um, a geared up Sheriff of Nottingham, a geared up Sven, and a geared up Robin Hood. But then again, you're putting yourself that far behind because those are the ten essential tunes that you need. So take it with a groom salt. Uh, you can either you could you could. I mean, because you're, I think if you do decide to go for Evil Queen right off the, right off the bat, then you're going to be pigeonholing yourself. Because you're going to have, yes, you're going to have this super tone. But, you know, you're going to be struggling to get through Club Conquest. You're going to, I mean, Club Expedition. You're going to be struggling with the raids. I mean, if you play the long game, if you if you do decide to go, just switch gears and go for the Huntsman and, and go for Evil Queen. You know, I think that that might set you up really good to 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 possibly explode in PvP if that's your if that's what you want to do. But I think that's going to hamper you. Um, any other game modes in the meantime so there's definitely a balance if you if you're all in in, in the queen and as you will see in the video I'm, I'm doing later uh or maybe i put out already that there's some there's definitely some value there's definitely some real value in the queen and you just need to think about what you're doing and uh decide for yourself 
If you have any questions, we're definitely going to do part two of this video being what you need for Evil Queen. Obviously, you need these 15 tunes. Plus, 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 plus. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we'll be back then. Till then, have a good day. We'll see you a lot later. Bye.